making a little extra cash in the streets of Ensenada. Hey, what's up, man? We're uh, in line here. We're walking across the U.S. border, and we paid a little extra so that this guy would help. Thank God, carry that big red duffel bag. It's so much weight. It's probably it's got to be 60 pounds, 70 pounds. And then I got this big bag on my back. And even Wanagi's like a little burrito, a little burro. Got her pack on, and uh, but we're gonna work our way across the U.S. borders right up there. And uh, hopefully this guy's a fixer so he could get us across a little faster. We got a train to catch on the other side and uh, yeah, but I'll uh, probably catch up with you on the other side of the border. We'll have time to hang out and kind of explain what happened today. Hey, what's going on? So we are made it on our first train. We just came across the border. We made it across the U.S. border, made it through customs. Managi made it. A little burrow. She has a backpack full of food and stuff until so I made sure just brought enough food that I could uh, make sure I covered her till I get to a pet store tomorrow the next day. But anyways, we're on a train. Uh, we're in San Diego and we're headed to about a 40 minute ride up into the station we're going to get off at and then we'll catch another train up to Santa Ana, California, which is in Orange County, California, where my parents live in that area. And uh, we'll probably arrive there in it's gonna probably take about another four hours. It's five o'clock now, so we'll probably get in around nine o'clock. Uh, not that it's that far. If you were driving a car, you could get up there in about an hour and a half, but uh, because the trains and stations and stops, it's gonna take approximately about four hours. But we're just cruising back in America. Oops. Sunset going down. And uh, yeah, we're in San Diego, so it's all good. Monogi safe. Hey, Wanagi, look at this. Right on, we'll give you an update in a little bit. Hey, how's it going? We're on another train. Check this out. Ooh, luxury. You got a leaning back seat. Wanagi's just hanging here. See that? She's upset with me because I was grumpy. I made her move. <laughs> she went, ah, made her teeth bare. But look at all our luggage. Look at that. Oh my God, so much luggage. But uh, yeah, we got a, probably another maybe, uh, maybe. 20 minute train ride something like that maybe and then uh, we get on a Greyhound bus and go to a place called Irvine Greyhound bus is probably at least an hour hour and a half ride probably something like that uh, and then we get to Irvine and jump on another train and then we'll be uh, landing in Santa Ana where my dad's gonna pick me up at about 9 30 tonight it's uh it's about 7 20 7 30 something like that so we got about another two hours or so uh, of traveling but uh, at least we're not having to have all that stuff on our back right now because my back's definitely sore even with my back brace uh, but uh, yeah that's it so we're gonna keep rolling on the train we're at a station right now you can see another little trolley train that's the kind of trolley train we were on earlier and then uh, now we're just on a big sun line surf liner Amtrak style train and uh, it's two-story but uh, we're just gonna hang downstairs uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. So it's probably hard to see me, uh, but I'm on a bus now and we're headed to another train. So it's been cars, trains, buses, walking, all sorts of stuff. As you can see, we're on the highway in America, headed towards the Irvine bus station in Southern California. Probably another another 15 20 minutes and then we'll be on another train for the final leg of the journey hey how's it going so we're on our final leg another train we just got off the bus and now we're on the final train from Irvine California to Santa Ana California where my uh, father's gonna pick me up uh, when Aggie's down here at my feet see her she just dumping out of my bag but uh anyways yeah uh, final leg of the train right or this whole trip from ensenada to santa Ana, california it took us uh what we left at about two o'clock in the afternoon today and uh, we're getting in about 9 30 so uh, about seven hours uh, and I'm feeling it. I'm pretty tired. I've been up since about five this morning 
I uh, decided to kind of sort through my stuff, pack everything, go through the camper, make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, I actually, I, I thinking about it now, I did. I missed that inverter, but that's all right. We can get that when we go back down. But I got most everything that's uh, worth to, worth to me, you know, uh, uh, things that mean uh, something and that I, I, I wouldn't want to lose. So I got that all in my baggage uh, and got our our hand drum here right there yeah big hand drum i made uh really important that thing staying right next to me this whole trip because uh, it's like family seriously the drum is like family uh but anyways uh we're almost to santa and i got only a couple more minutes and then we'll off of the train and uh meet my dad out in the parking lot and uh head back to their house and Man, I need to eat something and then I'm just gonna go to bed and I'm gonna sleep so hard. I know what Nagi is too. I gave her some food, some water at the uh, train station there in San Diego. So she she got a little watered up and got some food in her. And uh, so she's just been relaxed and she slept a little bit on the bus ride. It was about 40, 45 minutes and she slept a little bit of it. And then uh, yeah, she just lay in there comfortably down there by my feet. But uh, yeah, almost done. And then, uh, then I guess tomorrow we'll start figuring out next <laughs> what we're gonna do next. Anyways, Santa Ana, we're almost there. Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Right on. All right, we'll catch you in a bit.